Hello, this is Noreen Crone Findlay from CroneFindlay.com and DottieDogsCrafts.com. What I'm showing you today is my new peg loom from Dewberry Ridge uh, Looms. Gary and Donna McFarland um, are the folks who have created this marvelous loom building business. Now, when uh, Gary saw my um, woven stick loom woven bracelets and other jewelry he said aha i could make um, stick looms and i said "Ooh, well could you also make peg looms and he said well let me think about that and so this is the marvelous result now um i've got weaving on this one and i what i want to show you is here it is from behind it's a little bit backlit so it's a bit hard to see now um, I asked for several modifications what I asked for in the loom was to have the pegs taller than what most peg looms have I'm just gonna put this paper behind it and Hopefully that'll help you see a bit better. So I asked for six inch tall um, pegs because I like to be able to weave all the way up quite, um, you know, quite, I like to have quite a bit of weaving showing uh, before I advance it because I do a lot of color changes because I use tapestry techniques. So having the taller pegs, that's one of the things I asked for. I also asked to have uh, a narrower set. So I asked for thinner pegs closer together and um, I love that. That's wonderful. So one of the looms, they're doing two looms, one of the looms has just the row of narrow, um, tall, slender, narrow pegs, which is what I work on mostly. And I also asked to have legs on the side of the uh, on each end of the loom and as you can see or I hope you can see it's um, kind of badly backlit the um, Gary and Donna came up with the idea of uh, just tipping the loom back a little bit and oh that is just marvelous it's just fabulous I love having it tilted backwards because that makes it um, ergonomically just exquisite and the the legs that Gary designed for the loom are so elegant. They're just gorgeous. Now, oh, 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 and another thing that Gary came up with that I think is brilliant is, I'm going to take a chance and just tip my loom over. Uh, you can see that there are screws in the bottom of the loom. And I don't know if you can see the, the line. Um, he made the bottom of the loom removable so that you can, if one of your pegs gets stuck, you can then just unscrew the base and um, pop the peg out, which I thought was just brilliant. Now, the other thing I asked for was um, to have a... I'm going to hold this against... Um, paper. I wanted them to um, have uh, also a really nice um, threader and uh, so Gary, I designed a very crude and simple one and then Gary of course came up with a much more elegant and beautiful um, threader. So yay, that's gorgeous. Now uh, something that they're doing that I think is very clever is because postal rates have gone so sky high they're going to ship the looms flat and um, they'll include this handy dandy little jig that you put on the underside of the loom. You can see it, it fits on like that and that shows you exactly where to clamp the, the uh, jig so that you can drill holes to attach the legs and they sent um, really good instructions very clear shows you exactly how to do it so quick like a bunny you can have the legs on uh, your loom just it, it's just it works um, really well it's great it's a neat system 
Okay, so I'm going to um, just go over to the other side of the studio and show you the other model of loom that they're building now too. It's a three row one. So I'll just turn off and edit back in. Okay, so I've moved across the studio to my other Dewberry Ridge uh, peg loom. And you can see it has three roll rows of holes. And uh, I'm working with the center row of very fine holes, the smallest, slimmest pegs. And I have put my the legs onto this one with um, the medium sized holes um, at the front. I don't see myself ever working with um, this large um, set of, of pegs. Um, the, like I said before, my most favorite size is the fine ones. I really like the, the dense, um, uh, closely woven fabric that you get by working with the finer pegs. And um, I think the, the medium sized holes would be as large as I would ever go. So um, I did put the, um, the angle of the, the leg um, so that the, um, the medium ones are at the front and tilted forward. Now I always work with my weaving coming down in front and ending up in my lap. And that's a personal choice, but I find as I weave, what happens is, as I weave up the pegs, I get a continuous um, visual sense because the, the weaving is um, uninterrupted once you're, you're wo you have woven up the pegs. And when it comes down in front like this, it's, it's uninterrupted so you can see exactly what you're doing. So, I need to get back to my weaving now, and oh boy, I am, like I said before, I am so excited. I absolutely love the new Dewberry Ridge Looms, which are a, a very exciting collaboration between um, Gary and Donna McFarland and myself. And so I will be doing a book of um, all kinds of exciting projects on woven on the peg looms. And I have a lot of patterns already for stick looms on my website. So do go and check those out. There's jewelry, there's uh, mermaid, there's four stick dolls, six stick dolls, baskets, all kinds of wonderfulness. So happy weaving to you and uh, check out both my blog and the little paragraph under this video for the links both to my website and blog and to Dewberry Ridge. Happy weaving everyone. Bye for now. Okay, I'm just going to back up a bit just so you get the full impact of this gorgeous little loom. There we go.